to touring car action, super touring from around Europe, and we turn our attention now to the Italian series. Round six of the championship being held here at Mugello. So far this year, it's been a bit of an Audi domination, with Emanuele Pirro leading the championship comfortably. But Alfa and BMW are fighting back here at Mugello. Indeed, it's an Alfa that's taken the pole position, and it's Gabriele Tarquini in his last outing for Alfa before he switched to the British Touring Car Championship. Fabrizio Giovinardi, second fastest also for Alfa Romeo, with Emanuele Pirro finding himself down in third on the grid just ahead of Emanuele Naspetti. So off we go then. Start of the first race, we go on board with Oscar Larauri. He qualified back down in ninth place, but already he's passing some cars. On the run up to the first corner, he's gone past Antonio Tamburini. Meanwhile, up front, Tarquini in front. So Gabriele Tarquini looks like Emanuele Pirro has come up into second place. So a good start from the Audi driver. Back on board with Larauri, we've got Roberto Colciago. We're just going past in the. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> there is Colciago coming back again in the Opel Vectra as it is here in Italy. That is the second Audi, Ronaldo Capello, battling with Emanuele Naspetti. And again, Capello not having such a good time here as he's had so far this year. He's already had uh, several second place finishes and in fact won the previous, one of the previous races as well at Maggioni. Had a second place and a win at Maggioni, the previous round of the championship. But here he's having to fight for it a little bit more. Emanuele Naspetti, Roberto Colciago, then Larauri. And meanwhile, up front, the battles are going on. Emanuele Pirro coming under pressure from Fabrizio Giovinardi. And Emanuele Naspetti in the BMW just trying to sneak past Colciago there with Capello there as well in the second of the two Audi A4s. Remember the Audi's four-wheel drive. Oh, a bit of contact between him and uh, Colciago there. The wing mirror from Colciago's Opel went flying. We go back on board with Oscar Larauri now. Now, can he get past that Opel this time? Side by side, turning in. Oh, there's a bit of contact. Look, Colciago definitely goes off this time on the grass, rejoins the tarmac. But the youngster in his first full season of touring car racing just coming to grief slightly there. Well, there's Giovinardi now beginning to attack Emanuele Pirro for second place and takes second place away. Remember, it's still Gabriele Tarquini leading this race, but he's some way up front. And Giovinardi now into second. Alfa Romeo, one and two. That's a bit of a surprise this year. Audi third, BMW fourth. BMW also running in their lighter trim here. 25 kilos lighter than they have run so far. But uh, Emanuele Naspetti not quite able to run with the front runners so far. So Tamburini now past Capello. Capello with a bit of damage to the rear bodywork of that Audi. And now he's under attack from our onboard cameraman, Oscar Larauri. Into the slipstream, just draws alongside or tries to draw alongside as they go across start finish line. Now into that uh, right hand, well, it looks as though Larauri's got in front already before the first corner. And Capello drops in behind him. He's got Gianni Morbidelli right behind him. Morbidelli, who, of course, driving the footwork hard earlier this year in Grand Prix racing. Oh, and Colciago's in trouble. Smoke from his front. It looked as though the front wheel was at a very strange angle. Yes, indeed. It looks like he's had some sort of suspension failure. And he brings the... Well, he manages to get it back into the pit somehow. Quite how he managed to steer it back in. Only he knows. But uh, back into the pits for repairs for the second race, hopefully. Meanwhile, Capello under pressure from Morbidelli. Morbidelli taps him into a spin. And Capello goes off into the gravel trap. Now, can four-wheel drive dig him back out again? Doesn't look like he can. The rear of the car too deeply buried for him to be able to pull his way out of trouble. So now, Emanuele Naspetti beginning to put Emanuele Pirro under pressure. And this certainly resurgence in form from BMW. Although, having said that, Naspetti's been the top BMW driver. Oh, yeah, well, there's contact. He hits Pirro. As he goes past, that seemed a little unnecessary. Seemed to have the inside line anyway. And that is race leader. That is Gabriele Tarquini out of the race, suddenly picking up a puncture in the dying moments of this race. And what a disappointment. So the win, therefore, going to Fabrizio Giovinardi in the second of the Alphas, coming through to take the chequered flag. Second place to Emanuele Naspetti and third place to Emanuele Pirro in the Audi. So the best that he could do, third position in this particular case. Tamburini and Morbidelli taking fourth and fifth.
So on to the start of race number two here at Mugello then. And up front, Giovanni's made a good start. Now, Tarquini had to start down in 14th, but already making progress. The number five car, he's already got himself well up into the top 10. So, Tarquini is definitely on a charge here. Giovanardi leads from Piro in second place. And remember, Giovanardi switched from driving the Peugeot last year. Was teamed up with Gary Ailes in the Works Peugeot team, but now driving for Alpha. There is Tarquini. And already he's made up a lot of ground. He's right behind Larari. We're on board with Tarquini. And there's the white alpha of Oscar Larari. And we go in board, in fact, with Larari. Now he's attacking one of the BMWs up front. That looks like it could be Emanuele Naspetti. And Larari drawing alongside him into the first corner. Up into third place goes Larari. Got Emanuele Piro and Fabrizio Giovanardi up front. Uh, Larari now waving someone through. And that is Tarquini, in fact. So Gabriele Tarquini from 14th on the grid, really storming his way up the order. Now up into third place. There is Tarquini in the Alpha course. Alpha Romeo 155. Took eight wins last year in the British Championship, remember, to take the series. And now he's moved up into third and he's attacking for second, trying to get past Piro. Piro last year's Italian champion. And look at this, the onboard camera with Tarquini. Look how close can you get to the back of the Audi. <laughs> Incredible contact that time. And Piro stays on the track. But amazing onboard pictures from Gabriele Tarquini's Alfa Romeo in his attempts to get past. And you can see the bit of damage to the front bumper of Tarquini's car. Well, Larari looks from on board and finally Tarquini goes through. So Tarquini into second position now. And it's only team mate Fabrizio Giovanardi up front of him now first and second Alfa Romeo third place for Audi for Emanuele Piro then Oscar Larari trying to take that third place dives down the inside just takes it away I think and also one of the BMWs going through that is Emanuele Naspetti Gianni Morbidelli's right there as well Morbidelli hoping to uh, get some good results in the Italian touring car series his place in the Arrow's team having been taken by Massimiliano Papis in the last few Grand Prix. Now, can he make up for that here? Well, there is Morbidelli trying to get around the outside of teammate Naspetti. We're on board with Emanuele Naspetti. Morbidelli is just to the left. There he is. In fact, he's gone through. And now he's attacking Piro. Morbidelli up the inside. Oh, but there's contact. They both spin. Well, certainly Morbidelli spun. I think Piro, yes, Piro kept going. But Morbidelli out. So Naspetti takes advantage of that. Antonio Tamburini at the tail of that group. But up front, it's Fabrizio Giovanardi under attack from the lights ablaze of Gabriele Tarquini. And Giovanardi allowing him space. Tarquini takes the lead of the race. Not a bad effort from 14th place on the grid. Further back, meanwhile, Larari and Aspetti still having their own private battle. Oh, and there's been contact again. Larari off this time, and I don't think he's going to be able to rejoin from there. Safely into the gravel trap, nowhere near a barrier. But that does prevent him getting going again. And Emanuele Piro now under attack from Antonio Tamburini. Former Formula 3000 racer Tamburini up against former Grand Prix driver Emanuele Piro. And Piro has to give second best once again to an Alfa Romeo and it's an Alfa Romeo that wins but it's the Alfa Romeo of Gabriele Tarquini that takes the win in his final outing in the Italian series what a great way to say goodbye Fabrizio Giovanardi taking second place and Emanuele Naspetti taking third for BMW Emanuele Piro still with a very healthy lead in the championship